You know, Mike, when I started physical therapy over 20 years ago, I always wanted to incorporate water therapy, aquatic therapy, into our practice. And we've done it. Behind these doors, we have two endless pools, and we're going to do magic for you. So come on through. We can talk traditional therapy and land-based stuff that we do, but when it comes to what you can do in aquatics, it's totally amazing. These pools that we're standing in front of, we have underwater currents where we can regulate the intensity of the current, whether a person's swimming, whether a person's jogging, whether a person's doing light aerobic exercise, aquatic stretching, all that type of thing we could do in here with so much less pressure on the joints and make it something that the person can enjoy. Water temperature is 90 degrees, give or take a couple of degrees here or there depending on the time of day. But this is what it's all about, and this is what we've been doing now for over two years. In pool number one, we've had over 15,000 sessions in there, just a two-year period. Pool number two, we recently put on board in the last couple of uh, couple of months, and we're expecting big things with, with this center from not only the physical therapy, but aquatic therapy, exercise therapy, massage, all the different types of things we can incorporate with our wellness. Okay, so the next thing would be to show you the pools in action. This is real important. This is the brains to our, our, our pools here. There's two tr transmitters. One's to control the treadmill, an underwater treadmill that we can get up to five and a half miles an hour. And then the other controls the water current, the water propulsion system, so that you can get in there and just do a simple walk or jog on the treadmill. We can make it harder, of course, by increasing the speed of the treadmill, but more importantly, we can use the water to increase the velocity against your body, which makes you work harder, burn more calories, feel good, and do it with less strain and stress on the body. Okay? So, uh, a lot before they get in the pool, we do have a couple of changing rooms I should point out to you. Uh, we have uh, four rooms for people to get in, get changed before and after the, the, the time in the pool. One of the things we have with our patients when they come in, we want them wearing special polyester upper and lower uh, garments along with some water shoes that we have to put on so they can get some really good traction in there and get a better response to their, to their time in the water. Before we go further, we have a chair lift here that we use for some of our patients that have a hard time getting up the stairs. Uh, and also we have some people that can't walk, so this gets everybody in the pool. And of course, if they're tired or they need help getting out of the pool, the chairlift, again, helps uh, with that. So we can include everybody in our therapy and not have to exclude anybody. So, all right, Kelly, what we're gonna start off with is using both hands on the hand grip, okay? We're gonna speed things up a little bit, and when you feel comfortable, we're gonna try a couple of different routines. Does that sound good? Okay. How's it feel so far? Good. Good? You're going to be using these handheld dumbbells in just a few minutes so we can get the whole body moving there, okay? And right here we have our displays that show how fast the, the treadmill's moving and how fast the water's coming out. So, how's that feel? Pretty good? Still? There you go. Can you try some treadmills on these dumbbells? So right now, at this pace right here, if we kept everything constant the way it is, Kelly would do a mile on the underwater treadmill in about 18 minutes. That's pretty good. How's it feel? Great. A lot better than walking that lot of pavement outside, huh? Yes. And then, of course, as they feel more comfortable, we can get them into a, a faster pace. You're ready, honey. You feel like you want to maybe do a little bit of a sprint. You can go ahead and discard those dumbbells. And have you go for it, okay? Yeah, just let it go. Yeah. some water current. Okay, that's going to feel pretty good, Kelly. Right now, we're 
you're getting some serious water pressure put against her that she's jogging against. That feel pretty good? That feels great. Yeah. I'm going to get you tired. <laughs> And of course, what we could do, we could she could continue to work against the water using the dumbbells. We could also have weights on her ankles, maybe a one pound, two pound ankle weight. And ideally, for most of our patients, we want them doing about 20 minutes at least, preferably 30. But this is going to be a guy can feel the heat coming off your body and working so hard. Okay, let's bring it to the max. You think? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> and she's only been going on for about two, three minutes now. Look, you're getting those knees up too, Dylan. That's good. That's good. Can you sprint to the bar for me? <laughs> I'm going to turn it off now. Now get back to your normal face. There you go. Good job. Good job. Now, of course, we're going to demonstrate in just a couple of minutes how we can use this same current for swimming. And uh, that's another great workout as well. Everybody knows that swimming is one of the best exercises you can do. Of course, we feel that way about all the exercises we do with the board here. So, Kelly, you did great, honey. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Good for you.